Hello! Today, we're going to learn how to find the sum of the terms of a finite geometric sequence, also known as geometric series. I am Joy Dons, and welcome to Grade 10 Mathematics. Our target, define series and differentiate it from a sequence, and find the sum of the terms of a given geometric sequence. Important notes. I have here a sequence, 3, 6, 12, 24, and 48. Yes, it is a geometric sequence because we have the same value of the common ratio, R, and that is 2. Now, let's explore it more. What if we insert a plus sign in between the given terms? It becomes 3 plus 6 plus 12 plus 24 plus 48. What do we've got? We have the so-called geometric series. This is what a geometric series is. It is start as a geometric sequence and then we add up all the terms. Again, from the geometric sequence and we're gonna add them all up. That's what make it a series. A geometric series is the indicated sum of the terms of a geometric sequence. How about finite? Finite simply means a fixed number of terms. So, the sum of a finite geometric series is equal to 93. To find the sum of the terms in a finite geometric sequence, if r is not equal to 1, we have s sub n is equal to a sub 1 multiplied by quantity 1 minus r raised to n all over 1 minus r. This formula can be used if the last term is not given, or s sub n is equal to a sub 1 minus a sub n multiplied by r all over 1 minus r. This formula can be used if the last term is given, where s sub n is the sum of the n terms. a sub 1 is the first term, a sub n is the n term, r is the common ratio, and n is the number of terms. Example number 1. Find the sum of the first 10 terms of the geometric sequence 2, 6, 18, and so on. Solution, given. We're looking for S sub 10. A sub 1 is 2, N is 10, and R is equal to 3. We get the value of R by dividing the second term to the value of the first term. A sub 2 divided by A sub 1, and that is equal to 6 divided by 2, that is 3. Applying the formula we have, S sub n is equal to a sub 1 multiplied by quantity 1 minus r raised to n, all over 1 minus r, where 2 goes to a sub 1, 10 goes to n, and 3 goes to r. Now, we have s sub 10 is equal to 2 multiplied by 1 minus 3 raised to 10, and that is equal to 59,049, all over 1 minus 3. S sub 10 is equal to 2 multiplied by 1 minus 59,049 all over negative 2. Calculating the value, S sub 10 now is equal to negative 118,096 over negative 2. And that is equal to 59,048. Therefore, the sum of the first 10 terms is 59,048. Example number 2. Find the sum of the first seven terms of the geometric sequence 7, 21, 63, and so on. Solution, given. We're looking for S sub 7. A sub 1 is 7, N is 7, and R is 3. We get the value of R by dividing the second term to the value of the first term. A sub 2 divided by A sub 1, and that is 21 divided by 7, it is equal to 3. Applying the formula, we have S sub n is equal to A sub 1 multiplied by 1 minus R raised to n all over 1 minus R. Where 7 goes to A sub 1, 7 goes to n, and 3 goes to R. Now we have S sub 7 is equal to 7 multiplied by 1 minus 3 raised to 7, and that is equal to 2,187 all over 1 minus 3. S sub 7 now is equal to 7 multiplied by 1 minus 2,187 over negative 2. Calculating the value we have, S sub 7 is equal to negative 15,302 divided by negative 2, it is equal to 7,651. 
Therefore, the sum of the first seven terms is 7,651. Example number three. Find the sum of the first eight terms of the geometric sequence if the first term is 4. The common ratio is negative 2 and the eighth term is negative 512. Solution Given We're looking for S sub 8. A sub 1 is 4. A sub 8 is equal to negative 512. N is 8 and R is equal to negative 2. Applying the formula, we have S sub N is equal to A sub 1 minus A sub N multiplied by R all over 1 minus r. We're using this formula because the last term is given. Where 4 goes to a sub 1, negative 512 goes to a sub n, 8 goes to n, and negative 2 goes to r. We have s sub 8 is equal to 4 minus negative 512 multiplied by negative 2, and that is equal to 1024, all over 1 minus negative 2. s sub 8 is equal to 4 minus 1024, all over 3. Calculating the value, we have S sub 8 is equal to negative 1020 divided by 3. It is equal to negative 340. Therefore, the sum of the first 8 terms is negative 340. Example number 4. Find S sub 9 if A sub 1 is 5, A sub 9 is 1280, and R is negative 2. Solution, given, S sub 9 is unknown, A sub 1 is 5, A sub 9 is equal to 1,280, N is 9, and R is negative 2. Applying the formula, we have S sub N is equal to A sub 1 minus A sub N multiplied by R all over 1 minus R. We're using this formula because the last term is given, where 5 goes to A sub 1, 1,280 goes to A sub N, 9 goes to n and negative 2 goes to r. Now we have s sub 9 is equal to 5 minus 1280 multiplied by negative 2 and that is equal to negative 2560 all over 1 minus negative 2. s sub 9 is equal to 5 minus negative 2560 all over 3. Calculating the value we have s sub 9 is equal to 2,565 divided by 3, it is equal to 855. Therefore, the sum of the first 9 terms is 855. Okay, now it's your time to practice. Find the sum of each geometric sequence. Number 1, 1 plus 2 plus 4 plus 8 and so on. Solve for S sub 11. Number 2, negative 2, 4, negative 8, and so on. Find for S sub 13. And number 3, negative 160, 80, negative 40, and so on. Determine the value of S sub 6. Don't forget to comment down your answer so we can check it. Good luck! I hope you enjoy our discussion for today. See you again for our next lesson. Thank you! Have a nice day and God bless everyone!